Okay, Hugo is a Martin Scorsese film that initially I had no idea what it was going to be about. And what you have is an orphaned 12-year-old who is who lives inside a Parisian uh, railway terminal. And he pretty much works on the clocks. They do a super elaborate amount of work on these clocks. And you find out that he's collecting pieces to rebuild a clockwork. Clockwork or automaton. It's a human clockwork. Just when he and his father worked on it, it's the last thing that he worked on with his dad. Okay. It's a very sad movie. It's once it gets your time because he's trying to find this specific key. It's a heart shaped key that'll turn the automaton on. He's got almost everything else figured out for it. He's got to find this key. So he's trying to find the key. And at the same time, there are about a dozen subplots going on with all the different people inside the, the Parisian terminal. You've got Sasha Baron Cohen playing a, essentially the terminal guard who has got his leg in an old fashioned like leg vice because he's interested in the war. There's moments where he's trying to have romantic conversations with the woman who sells the flowers. You have a guy who, um, who looks like he's selling the newspapers, kind of has a crush of the woman who owns the coffee shop, or a dog won't let him get close. So there's lots of little subplots going on while you've got this child who's working to get pieces for the clockwork, while working for Sir Ben Kingsley, who owns a little toy shop. There's a lot going on in this movie. And it's got some slapstick to it, because you think it's for kids. But there's a lot of high moments of drama, like him dealing with the loss of his father and having kind of an alcoholic, abusive uncle. So there's a lot of heaviness going on with the case of most of Slapstick. This is a beautifully rendered movie. I can't tell too much about it without giving away, you know, little twists and turns. But if you walk in this thinking you're going to see a movie about a child who's a clockman, who's a clockworker, you're going to find out that his primary position in the world is to fix things. He has almost like a little moment where he's discussing how, you know, if the world is like a clock, all the parts make sense. So he's trying to come to grips with what is it that he does that fits into the world as a whole. Yeah, so it gets deep every now and then. And then occasionally you have Sasha Baron Cohen's leg brace getting caught in a door in him going crash first into some luggage. So it does, it goes, it has a huge range of what's going on with it. It is a very good entertaining drama with bits and pieces of comedy.